every point in the universe. Instant news coverage. First on WIL. Now, here's another first edition. WIL award-winning Action Central News. At 12.45, 18 degrees, Fred Dippay reporting from WIL Action Central for Schnucks Giant Value Markets, where you save money without sacrificing quality. Washington, the White House has informed Missouri senators that President Kennedy will sign today nominations for three Missouri federal judgeships. Such signing is preparatory to submission of nominations to the Senate. The three are Attorney James H. Meredith of St. Louis and Circuit Judge John K. Regan of St. Louis to be district judges in eastern Missouri and Attorney John W. Oliver of Kansas City to be a judge in the western district. If confirmed, Meredith will succeed the late Judge Randolph W. Weber, Regan will succeed retiring Judge George Moore, and Oliver will succeed the late R. Jaster Smith. Springfield, the Illinois Liquor Control Commission in Springfield has ordered 87 liquor license holders to appear Monday and Tuesday for allegedly holding federal gambling stamps, which violates the commission's rules. Scheduled to appear Monday are Alf Moe of Moe's Tavern, East St. Louis, Bon Air Incorporated Alton, Lawrence Buckled, Buckled's Tavern, East St. Louis, Tony Pavelik, City Club, Wood River, Nellie Rosmesser, of Nell and Ray's Belleville, Kenneth Hall, Hun's Tavern, Mascuda, Leo J. Scaraz of Skylark Liquors Store in East St. Louis, Carl Quant, Carlos Tavern, Millstock, ordered to appear Tuesday are Joseph C. Crass, Redwood Inn, O'Fallon, Mary Scott, Club Y, East St. Louis, John Decker, Johnny's East Side Tavern, Belleville, East St. Louis. The state's attorneys for St. Clair and Madison counties in Illinois have issued a joint statement urging local law enforcement officials to work together to prevent a repetition of open gambling and other law breakdowns. Referring to the income tax evasion conviction of East Side Rackets boss Frank Buster Wartman and two associates, State's Attorney Dick Mudge of Madison County and John Carnes of St. Clair County said the story of Wartman's activities in the area was a sordid history. They said that if local law enforcement officials had done their duty, the expensive investigation and trial would never have taken place and national attention would not have been drawn to the East St. Louis area as a haven and playground for the underworld. St. Louis, the campaign in favor of the St. Louis bond issue proposals and the state gasoline tax amendment is reaching its climax. Former Governor James Blair spoke at a rally last night in favor of the amendment, and Elmer Pounds, a member of the St. Louis Board of Education, said the school bond issue provides for urgent basic needs. Mayor Raymond R. Tucker predicts an increase of 35 to 40,000 in the number of voters in the special election next Tuesday will assure approval of the city and school bond issue proposals. St. Charles, salty water, has stirred a controversy between residents of the Harvest Acres subdivision in St. Charles County and the developer and the State Department of Welfare. Several residents of the subdivision on State Highway 94 have moved and others have filed suit against the developer, the Twelman Construction Company. One of the residents, Mrs. Thomas Bury Jr., says she and her neighbors have to make a 12-mile round trip to haul drinking water to their homes. The water supply for the divisions is from wells dug by the firm. Homeowners complain the water is so salty it's unfit for drinking or cooking. You are listening to WIL, award-winning Action Central News. Job. And say, at Schnucks Giant Value Markets, they're the friendliest stores in town. Schnucks brings to its customers another exclusive benefit, and that's customer service news. Members of civic, social, church, and school organizations are invited to post notices of their functions on the customer service news bulletin boards in their nearby Schnucks stores. Such items will be read on Schnucks customer service news radio programs. It's another exclusive free service of Schnucks, the friendliest stores in town. Shop. And say, at Schnucks Giant Value Markets, they're the friendliest stores in town. Now, on WIL Action Central News, the world today. Washington, the Presidential Commission has recommended that the railroads have broad power to streamline their operations but give financial assistance to workers displaced in the process. New York, 12 persons were injured today in the derailment of a Pennsylvania Railroad passenger train. No one reported hurt in a New York Central train derailment. Washington, the cost of living remained stable last month. Cape Canaveral, astronaut John Glenn says his orbital flight showed that men can be given more responsibility and automation less in space flights. Weather, 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 weather. Here's the weather. WIL revised weather. The WIL weather ball steady blue. Sunny, cold today. Fair, much colder tonight. Low near zero, as low as 10 below in the suburbs. Tomorrow, sunny, cold, high, lower 20s. 
The relative humidity 62%, clear sky, sea level pressure 30.48, falling temperature 18 degrees. That's 1-8. The news presented by Schnucks Giant Value Market, St. Louis' largest home-owned chain of food stores. Fred DePay reporting from WIL Action Central, winner of broadcasting's most coveted award, Public Trust. it ever. Make sure that you ask for it by name. And don't forget, Coca-Cola is a Community Club Awards sponsor. Here's another WIL Lucky License Number. If this is your license number and you have a WIL Lucky License sticker on the rear window of your car, you'll win $143. If you have the last four numbers in your license plate number, you'll win $14.30. And if you have the last three numbers, you'll win $1.43. Remember, you must have a WIL Lucky License sticker on your car's rear window. And you must call Franklin 1 1430 within 15 minutes. Here is the WIL Lucky License Number. All right, going to tear open another sealed envelope here and see if we can make you winner 244 in the original Lucky License Contest game. And the Bob Osborne Show, the Lucky License number, this one worth $143, is CA1695. That's CA1695. As always, here on WIL, you have a full 15 minutes to call. That's a full 15 minutes to call us here at 1430 Radio. Wonderful WIL. Robert Scott is out cruising the streets of the greater St. Louis area in car 143. Where are you? Well, Bob, good morning. We are, of course, on the corner of Margaret and Manchester. We had a winner. We, had, we still have people coming to it. Um, we sure have, man. I'm terribly sorry. We, uh, <laughs> we're still having folks come up, and, uh, of course, we had our winner uh, minutes ago, Eugene E. Whaley of 7323 Lohmeyer, Maplewood, squeaked to a halt right in the middle of the street and took away a sack full of 143 nickels. Thanks to everybody that came up and asked, however, uh, afterwards, just too late. Uh, once again, our winner at car 143, Eugene E. Whaley of 7323 Lohmeyer, Maplewood. You've just heard another winner from WIL's car 143. Throughout the day, WIL's car 143 is cruising the streets of St. Louis. There may be money in your neighborhood. Keep tuned to WIL Radio for the location of car 143. After the location is given, the first person to reach the car will win the WIL car 143 award. A money bag of your very own with shiny WIL cash inside or giant prizes will be yours. Just for finding car 143. Keep listening to WIL Radio for the next car 143 location. It means money and prizes for you. Yeah, there's more contest fun at 62 right here on Radio 1. Hi, if you just happen to be joining us, noonday, midday. This is the Bob Osborne Show till about 3 o'clock. Yesterday, of course, the weather canceled all kinds of uh, planned meetings and the get-togethers and the like. Incidentally, those of you uh, women who plan to attend the 39th Annual Driving School that's put on by the Safety Council of Greater St. Louis, it opened yesterday at Sticks, Baron Fuller, uh, and you couldn't do so because of the weather, you can enroll in the course next Tuesday and still get full credit for the course, plus a paper on the subjects that were discussed during the opening meeting. So you can enroll next Tuesday. That's the 39th Annual Driving School that opened up at Sticks, Baron Fuller. You can enroll next Tuesday, March. Six. It's another public service from Wonderful W-I-L W-I-L Blue Street Headline St. Louis, the campaign in favor of the St. Louis bond issue proposals and the state gasoline tax amendment is reaching its climax. Clayton, a young man from St. Anne has been sentenced to 150 days in jail for his part in the beating of three university city youths August 16th, Washington. A presidential commission has recommended that the railroads have broad power to streamline their operations but give financial assistance to workers displaced in the process. Now, Viewpoint Topic A at large with Dick McCutcheon reporting. Those who worship the devil. Many Christian missionaries believe that devil worship can be found in many parts of the world. And based on the way things are turning out, it's hard to argue that point. 
But some social anthropologists believe that the only part of the world in which the worship of the devil has developed into a deeply serious religion is in a mountainous pocket of Kurdistan where the Yazidis live. They believe in God, but as a very distant deity. They think he is prepared to forgive and forget, but is kept so busy with other parts of the universe that he doesn't have much time to worry about our tiny planet. So the Yazidis, who describe themselves as the chosen people of Satan, worship the devil because, according to them, he's the one who really rules the earth and he's the one we ought to be trying to please. For fear of going blind, they never mention the devil's name, which in their tongue is Shaitan, nor will they use any other words beginning with SH. Their symbol for the devil is the peacock. And every April, they journey to a hidden canyon where their peacock symbol is hidden away. They believe that to spit on the earth is an insult to the devil. And for that reason, they will never blow out a fire for fear that some moisture will be released by mistake. They also have a quaint and curious method of tithing. Ten percent of all their wealth is thrown in the form of silver into a crevice in the rocks. They do this in the belief that on Resurrection Day, the money will come back into their pockets and they'll be the only ones around who aren't broke. The Yazidis present a tough problem to anthropologists trying to figure out where they came from. The fact that they practice certain Christian rites has given rise to the belief that their religion originally was formed by a renegade Christian monk. But nobody really wants to claim them as their own and other experts are gratefully convinced that they broke away from the Muslim faith. Certainly, they have hardly been popular through the years. At the beginning of the 19th century, they numbered about 150,000. But between Turkish and Kurdish massacres, they have been reduced to the point where in the last census, they numbered less than 29,000. Despite all manner of persecution, they have clung to their faith, sometimes under torture. But now it appears that they may be undone by the gentle inroads of civilization. They are taking jobs in the cities. Some have been trained as teachers and clerks. But if the Yazidis do vanish as a people, if they are forced to give up their devil worship, they can take one last comfort in the thought that this might have been, after all, the work of their deity, the devil. Dick McCutcheon, Time Life Broadcast, New York. W.I.L. Revised Weather, the W.I.L. Weather Ball flashing blue. Cold today, high around 15, continued sunny, fair, much colder tonight, low near zero. Tomorrow, sunny, cold, high near 20. Winds today and tonight from the north, 10 to 15 miles per hour. Present temperature, 18 degrees, that's 1.8. This has been Topic A at Large from W.I.L. Action Central. Winner of Broadcasting's most coveted award, Public Trust.